Hey, what's up? I'm Movie Cat, aka Roller Coaster Rider. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, what's up? My name is Movie Cat, aka Roller Coaster Rider. Why? I'm doing an impression of Zach Galifianakis. That's not how he talked. Ah, uh, whatever. It's less annoying. Uh. And obviously, I'm here with Kay, and we're gonna review the movie Masterminds. The move. Uh, somewhat movie it says it's inspired by a ridiculous true story however yeah it, they said it in the beginning yeah and they said about the people that actually they played the characters of how many years they served and it was the largest bank robbery heist in u.s history but 17 million i've got a problem with that but we'll we'll get into that Basically, what hap Basically, the plot of the movie is uh, Zach Galifianakis. He's having, I guess, problems with Kate McKinnon's character. Uh, he's always kind of liked um, Kristen Wiig's character. She was Kelly or Candace. Or Kelly. Can Kelly. Yeah. Yeah, Kelly. And she has a relative brother? I don't know. I think it was her sister or friend or something that was married to Owen Wilson. Yeah. It was David... Steve. Steve. And he was inspired by the guy that first robbed the company that they worked for. Yeah, and so... It was like a Brinks... Yeah. Brinks um, money truck. Yeah. Uh, Zach Galifianakis steals the money, seventeen million. Uh, then he takes twenty thousand, and you'll love this because he puts it in his butt and in his pants. So this clearly is a while ago. I'll get to that. I might get to that later. But uh. Oh. Holy cow. It did have a couple good. parts that I, I did laugh at. But uh, anyway, Owen Wilson decides to... Uh, Mastermind and Rob. No, no. Call, we got to that part. He decides to call or kind of snitch on Zach Galifianakis' character. And, to make another three mil. Yeah. And then at that point, he essentially, the money goes to his head. Yeah. Because he's doing everything but saying, I stole a bunch of stuff. Well, if he bought it. Yeah, which isn't even... Eh, I've seen... His money. I think Blank Check did it better. Yeah. I haven't seen that movie in a while, so maybe I'm wrong, but yeah. And then, uh... Quote-unquote hijinks ensue. Uh, you've got some side characters. You've got Kate McKinnon, who... Is in the movie... Because well, she was a fiance to his cousin, and <laughs> yeah, the, the movie and then met him at the funeral, and her fiance was dead, and he was alive, so she went with him. Yeah, there's also uh, Jason Sudeikis, who is the oh, okay. We we're are we going should we get into spoilers yet of what we didn't like or should we No, he was a hitman. Should we get into spoilers? Just just go into the funny part of it. Uh okay. I couldn't understand why. Uh there is kind of a funny car chase. I well, guess. No. Or not, they, not even car chase. When but... he goes to kill him. Oh, you're talking about that when he was on rollerblades? Yeah. With the truck. <laughs> Pick up mm -hmm. truck. Yeah. And if you're wondering about his impro about Zach Galifianakis' accent, it's kind of like uh, his character from what was it? Uh, the campaign. It's just so fast. Come on, Kate, get over here, please. Uh, should we? S Let's talk about what we liked and what we didn't like about the movie. What didn't you like? And please come over here. Well, how Kristen Wiig was, like, using him, and then she started to have She was essentially cock-teasing him. him. 
And then she, well, to get him to do what Geppetto wanted him Geppetto. to do. Geppetto! Geppetto wanted him to do. I mean, there was a couple parts that were kind of gross, kind of funny. Like the, what, pubic butt hair joke? Well, it's not pubic hair, but it's butt hair. Okay, the large clump of butt hair, which yeah, he pulls weaves a, have left weaves weaves have less hair. He pulls out a hundred dollar bill to pay for eighteen dollars worth of stuff. <laughs> and he pulls it out of his his pants because that's where Kristen Wig shoved the twenty thousand dollars for him to start with down in Mexico. Uh, you also get to see Zach Galifianakis' butt cracking. Well, yeah. there you go. There you go, ladies. That's for you. Oh, God. Don't even look. <laughs> you can have it back. Oh, uh, vegans are gonna, vegans and pita people, you're gonna love this. Zach Galifianakis eats a tarantula. With his guts. A dead tarantula. Yeah, and his guts come gushing out. Yeah. <laughs> And in case you're wondering, you see him eat it. But anyway. Uh, there's a few things I don't like about the movie. Well, I thought the part where Jason Sudeikis, Sudeikis. Was, Sudeikis was gonna kill him. and That's a spoiler. He takes... That, well, he's a, a hitman. No, it's... No. Why he, why he may or may not have done it not is a spoiler. Okay. So in the end, they switch places, and that's a bit of a spoiler too. Jake today, or Jason, <laughs> he goes off to to South America. Spoiler and, alert! And Zach goes to the U.S. Okay, so you know what? Entice them a little bit. Maybe they'll want to see this. So you would we, recommend okay. this? No. No, only if you were very bored and you liked all of these people in it. I wouldn't even Owen say Wilson that. Owen Wilson played the same type of role he always plays, so... I would argue he wasn't... Like, when you think of Owen Wilson playing the same role, you think of, like... Well, at least for me, I think of, like, his character from Zoolander or most Ben Stiller movies. I don't remember him in those. He was Hans. He was... whatever. Well, anyway, what didn't you like about it? Oh boy, um, I and feel... just narrow it down to a few things, okay? I'll try to narrow it down to five. Oh my god, um, just a few. Don't bore everybody. There was no resolve. Do you mind coming over here, please? There was no resolve. That's my first problem. Uh, Zach Galifianakis... He was really stupid and almost like so dumb to the point where you're like, how did he even, how did he even get a job? Well, he was one of their better employees. But he was an idiot. And probably another major part, probably another major part was I feel that the, the two... Uh, white female leads, Kate McKinnon and Kristen Wiig, I felt both of them, in my opinion, were miscast. Like, I think it would have been better had they swapped roles. Oh. Where you had uh, Kristen Wiig playing the a uh, crazy goofball and you'd have Kate McKinnon as someone that's attractive. Okay, but Plus, I'd rather you're, see... you're forgetting the other person from an SNL. Plus, I'd rather see Kate McKinnon in a in a bra than Kristen Wiig. Who was with I know the she's ladies? I know she's a lesbian, but she's hotter. Who Leslie was... Jones. Yeah, you haven't mentioned her. Ugh, I don't think the movie mentioned much of her. Uh, Leslie Jones, she got... It's funny, though. She was she was okay. Uh, in case you're wondering, she's not the type of character that she was in Ghostbusters. Like she's not. The power of pain compels you. That's what she did in one of the trailers. So. She was like much more subdued and more of 
she was more of the straight person and or straight man in the in this movie because she, I guess she was a cop. Um. But yeah, she wasn't uh, yelling. She wasn't crazy. What? So what else didn't you like? Um. Did you like anything? I'm trying to remember if I even laughed. I think I got maybe one or two chuckles. But I can't even remember them. Uh. Oh. Uh. There's another problem, and I guess we can. I guess. I don't think it's a spoiler. It says it's based on a true story. And. It obviously doesn't take place in the 2000s. It probably took place in the 80s or 90s. Uh. The movie doesn't sell it. The movie does, with the exception of maybe two or three times, if or there are maybe two or three instances where if you took those out, I would just I would have thought this movie took place in modern day. Okay, and we're gonna uh, let's let's give our ratings, and then you can and then we can spoil it. Uh, my rating, jeez, a free rental, not worth it. Um, uh, you've probably you've seen these actors be funnier and do better and you know what watch Power Rangers that movie didn't do well in theaters but you'll have much you'll have more enjoyment out of that it's at least funnier and it doesn't have a and sorry ladies but you don't get to see any of the Power Rangers uh, but butts What's your rating? I just said, if you could see it for free and you like these characters, go for it. We're not saying, we're not saying torrent it, although... We're not saying go out and get it. Just if you're bored and want to eat popcorn. Make, if you're, if your friend is curious, make him rent it. Or make her rent it. Okay. And now we're going to get into spoilers. Because we gave them the spoiler warning. Okay, this is another thing I hated. Jason Sudeikis is a hitman and is uh, extremely dumb. Like, you wonder how he became a hitman if he's this gullible. Yeah, but you wondered how he got down to Cozumel so fast. Yeah, but that was when he was smart. This is before he takes a 180 and just becomes a and becomes an idiot. Okay. Okay. Here's the big reveal. The reason why Zach Galif the reason why he doesn't kill he's he's hired by Owen Wilson to kill Zach Galifianakis, but he doesn't. Why, Kay? Because when he is offered money from Zach Galifianakis. Right. His character. He takes the wallet from Zach and then he opens it and there was only $48 in it. And he puts that down the sewer. And then, because he took the toilet off of the sewer. Yeah, what was his goal? How was he supposed because to Because he kill? was going to cut up Zach and shove him down the sewer. He was going to cut him up in pieces. Oh, he doesn't, that, that's he doesn't, the point? Yeah, he didn't want to shoot anybody. He'd rather use a rusty cord or a knife. But he brought or, a gun. No, he didn't. He bought a gun from that one guy. And he aimed. Yeah. Okay, that was and a was funny only, moment. It was, that was only a, a decoration. <laughs> yeah, that was a funny part. That, that, okay, that made me chuckle. Okay, so anyway, he takes the wallet from Zach, and then he opens it up, and he looks at the ID. Which is a fake ID that Kristen Wiig's character gave him, where Owen, where he said, she said that, uh, what is it, Mark McKinney? Or Mike McKinney? Mike. Mike, Mike McKin Arthur McKinney or something. Whatever. Is one of is one of Owen Wilson's friends. Guess what? Zach also had that name. No. That was his disguise. I said Oh, Jason, that was his name in the movie. 
And then as and then it's much dumber than that Martha reveal in Batman v Superman where he's like, huh? We have the same name. We were born on the same day in the same hospital. Yeah, and you rolled over, and I looked at you, and you probably looked at me, even with the fuzzy eyes. Are we brothers? It's like, yeah, because the mother is the mother would give them the same first, middle, and last name. Well, isn't there somebody in life that has done that before? I don't know. Is there another roller coaster rider out there? No, I'm talking about the guy that used to fight and that doesn't fight anymore. He has all those cooking utensil things. George Foreman? Yeah, he named all of his kids the same thing except for the daughters. Maybe that was George Foreman Jr. or something. Or I don't know. Anyway, and I, off subject. I thought Sorry. that was I thought that was some hand TV sketch. No, I think it was real. Okay. Real life. Uh, not wrestling. Not a wrestler fan. Sorry. Boxing. But yeah, uh, don't recommend it. Yeah. No. Okay. Wrap it up. Uh, see you next time when we review. Oof. Has to be something better. See you next time when we when we review a hat movie. Okay. Bye. Good night.